Just in the past few minutes, the Biden administration announced new plans to protect our drinking water from contamination. The new regulations are all about forever chemicals known as PFAS, which can come with serious health risks. WRS Kelsey Coffey joins us live from the Cape Fear River in Fayetteville. And Kelsey, I understand the head of the EPA will also be out there to talk about this. Renee, he will, and we're just hours away from hearing more about new regulations that could protect you and your family from harmful drinking water. So that's the same type of uh, chemicals that are in the water that were in the water here at Cape Fear River back in 2017. The water that you drink out of your faucet at home could be harmful to your health. This morning, new federal regulations for forever chemicals or PFAS will be announced. Research shows those chemicals have been linked to cancer, liver damage, and development developmental problems in children. At least 45% of the nation's tap water has those chemicals in it. That's according to a federal study last year. The new regulations will set limits for five types of forever chemicals. And we're setting a science-based standard uh, to limit this source of contamination in folks' water supply, uh, which is absolutely critical to protect public health. Um, we know these forever chemicals can cause cancer and other severe illnesses. And North Carolina is receiving $29 million in grant funding to help with testing and ways to upgrade water treatment uh, for this process. And the governor and the attorney general will be at today's announcement. That announcement will be today here in Fayetteville at 1030. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News, live in Fayetteville. To learn more about the impact of PFAS pollution on North Carolinians, you can watch our WRL documentary, Forever Chemicals, North Carolina's Toxic Tap Water. Find it on WRL.com under the Documentary tab.